I'm showcasing the UGMA LMG in Warzone Season 5 because I've been seeing a lot of people actually run this up and give it a try for themselves. So I wanted to go through and build a loadout for myself and give it a try in the current meta. And you guys are going to see in the gameplay, I ended up dropping a 40 bomb. And the entire gameplay itself is an absolute banger. So you guys definitely got to stay tuned for everything. Before I've been any of that, I want to give a huge shout out to Trippy, Peter, and Roy for having my post notifications on. If you guys want a chance of getting my next video, make sure you guys go down below and hit that big red subscribe button, as well as leaving a like and a comment saying noties. Watch the full video through. Like I said, we have a crazy build. So without further ado, let's hop directly into it. Of course, just like normal for literally every single Vanguard primary I run for the most part, I have the index silencer on for my muzzle, just giving you that vertical and horizontal recoil control, making you way more of a beam, with that very essential damage range as well, making you hit harder. And then you're mixing that with the Bernard XL214 barrel, giving you even more recoil control and that bull velocity, getting close to the hit scan, and of course, mixing in even more flinch resistance and reducing the scope sway and gun bob overall, again, making you way more controllable. And then with these guns that have close to no recoil, I just absolutely love using the 3 to 6x scope because it's just such a beam on the 3 zoom or the 6 zoom. But I always tell you guys the optics are always personal preference. And then you're also going to toss on the YR stock, giving you even more aim walking movement speed, aim walking steadiness, and of course, that initial firing recoil. I don't have to keep saying it. This mixes with the rest of the build, making you more of a beam. And then you're also going to toss on the M1930 strife angle, just giving you that horizontal recoil control, making it to where all of your recoil is really vertical, so it's incredibly controllable. And then you also have the 125 round box mag, just giving you recoil control, fire rate, hit fire accuracy, and mag size. You do lose some damage and everything, not noticeable whatsoever, but that fire rate is insane, letting you shred through people. And of course, the recoil control, very self explanatory. And then the bullet velocity for the primaries is very essential, like you've seen with the barrel and everything. It gets you closer to the hit scan, so I toss on the length and ammo type, giving you even more of it. And then, of course, like I've said, I think a million times already with this class setup, it is a beam. So you toss on the hatch grip, making it even more of a beam with recoil control and flinch resistance. And then you have the surveil perk one, giving you even more bullet velocity and the fully loaded perk two. But overall, this is my full UGM build. I'm telling you guys, it's absolutely disgusting. And like I was saying in the intro, I've been seeing a lot of people test it out. So I wanted to test it out for myself. And like I said, man, the gameplay I got for you guys is crazy. A 40 ball. So after the do, let's hop directly into the gameplay. That's so that's so unfair, bro, for me to just drop in and get my loady. <laughs> oh my god. If you drop in and get your loady, you you I mean you're just dominating, bro. God. Oh, my man, that tempered no. You don't want a child as UGM. I really do promise that. When do you get outside? What the heck? There's another guy all the way down low. God, how is that guy not dead? Actually, oh. up close, you're going to get slapped by this, bro. Enemy soldier nearby. Oh, my God. I need to stop away from the lobby, but this thing is actually kind of crazy. Where'd this guy go? Where'd this guy go? 
There's another guy that just called that PA, bro. I feel like that guy's gotta be, uh, that was probably actually him right there. I was just chilling behind that door. Should be a forty. This guy just back out of the game? I thought he backed out. I think I can. I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
terrible, bro. Hey, that was terrible. What, what are we talking about? Uh, nice little 40 ball. I got my loadout off the first crate I opened of the entire game. I actually don't think I grabbed my for real loadout one time.